Is it really a good idea to swim with crocodiles? Well, this Matt Wright guy must have some balls of steel. Meat bone cruncher. Oi, come on. Over you come. Okay, this one's bone cruncher. Bone. <laughs> right, so basically I have been reading. Hang on. Uh, I have been looking at What a Croc. Uh, and it is a book full of headlines from the Northern Territory. And in the recent episode, I will link it at the end of the video in the end credits. Uh, in the recent episode, we meet Bone Cruncher. He was on the front page of one of the Northern Territory newspaper articles. Um, and we'll find out more about him. But you see all these other crocs and they've got all these names like Brutus, uh, Bone Cruncher. These names that instill fear. <laughs> Um, they're never, you know, uh, they never have names like Daisy or, um, I'm trying to think of a Lily or, uh, I'm trying to think of other soft, nice names. Uh, they always have these fearsome names. Anyway, let's continue. He's what? He's only got half his jaw. Three and a half, four metres. There you go. Come on. He's a little bit handicapped underneath his mouth there. He's had his jaw totally ripped off by another croc. Ugh. And he's actually lost this other eye here. Come on, come here. Come on, up you come. Up you come, come on. That's it, whoa. Wait, what are you doing? How, how does this, how does Matt know that Bone Cruncher isn't gonna attack him? And I suppose that's the same with, with even like the Steve Irwins of, of the world and, and even the Robert Irwins who's taken over and whatnot. How do they know? And how are they so confident and calm that these these cr prehistoric creatures are not going to absolutely destroy them? And this guy, this croc's name is Bone Cruncher. How is he so calm? I don't understand it. And, and I applaud him for, for his knowledge because that's what it is. A lot of knowledge and ability to, um, ability to look at the croc's behaviour isn't it? And sense how the how the, the croc is feeling and what it's going to do. And that's incredible in itself. You want to come up? You're not going to. You want to come up? Who says you can't train a crocodile? Start up. Maybe he's not very hungry no, at the moment. Just stay. We're showing everyone your eye. You have a look in here. He's lost one eye. That's because he goes out in this main lagoon here and he goes out and tries to play with the big boys. That doesn't work out too well for you, does it? Hey? No. Ah, uh -uh. stay. Ooh. That's enough. He knows my behaviour and I know his. Now it's a beautiful thing, but it's only a one in a million thing that ever happens with a human and a crocodile. So, guys, don't go up to a crocodile, a saltwater crocodile in the wild and think that you can do this. Don't turn your back you on it, surely. Don't turn your back on it. Your life in a heartbeat. He is. Wow. There is Bone Cruncher. He's clearly not one of the big boys, as he says. But, and actually, to be fair, so Matt does say at the end, this is one in a million. The fact that he can, he can be in the water with this croc and the croc doesn't, well try and destroy him uh, and, and yeah be bloody careful because these are big dangerous creatures that will eat you if they can if they're feeling hungry um but i am amazed that that he is able to get in the river with him that that's incredible but the knowledge as i said the knowledge and behavioral the 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 way that matt is able to look at the behavior of the the, the crocodiles and see that is incredible in itself something that's that's probably learnt but also just natural to him to be able to assess what the crocodile's thinking and feeling and impressive stuff he has honestly though he has got some balls of steel it's a fair play to matt wright um yeah how to start your day thank you so much for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe and i will catch you next time